Nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoong Diyos na ginawa niya akong isang Pilipino. Ilang taon na rin naman na hinangat kong sabihin sa aking sarili ang mga katagang ito. Ngunit hindi ko makuhang ipagmalaki ang pinanggalingan ko, lalong-lalo na sa harap ng ibang mga lahi. Aaminin ko na kahit kuman pilitin na ipagmalaki ang aking bayang sinilangan at ang aking pinagmulan, nagmumukha lamang akong isang sinungaling sa harap ng iba't ibang krisis na hinaharap ng ating bayan. At kung ngayon ramdam na ramdam ko ang halaga ng paniniwalang ito, ang aking tauspusong pasasalamat ay nakalaan kay Corazon Cojuanco Aquino, Pangulo ng Bayang Pilipino, natatanging Pangulo sa puso ko. Pinakamamahal kong ina, maraming maraming salamat po. Ang dilaw na laso sa aking dibdib, ang magsisilbing munting alay ko at ng bayang Pilipino para sa maningning na liwanag ng katotohanan, kalayaan at katarungan na inyong ibinalik sa bayang Pilipino. Pinangalagaan at ngayon na may ipinagkakatiwala na sa amin. Hindi hindi na po ako papayag na mabawi ito. Malaki ang aking utang na loob sa inyo. At hindi hindi ko po kayo malilimutan. The sacrifice of Ninoy gave birth to a renewed hope. The prophetic vision of Jaime Cardinal Sin rallied us to the promised land. But it is your courage and fortitude, beloved President Corey, that has transformed this nation, paralyzed by fear, into a nation of everyday heroes. At EDSA, we prayed with all our hearts, blessed it with our tears, and hallowed the streets with our faith. That time, the world stood in silence and awe at this biblical story recreated in our own eyes and written in its entirety by ordinary Filipinos who allowed the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to work His mighty wonders in our land and in our own time. Ginigiliw kong Pangulo, tunay na tunay ko pong ipinagluluksa ang inyong pagpanaw. Kasama ng mga anak ng bayan, ako ay nangangamba na sa inyong paglisan ay baka tuluyan ng maglaho ang aking mga pinapangarap para sa bayan. Baka tuluyan ang mawalan ng kahulugan ang aking inaasam-asam para sa aking mga kababayan. At tuluyan na rin po akong manghina sa tagal ng aming pakikipaglaban para sa katotohanan at katarungan. Maaari pa ba kaming tumayo kung wala na kayo sa aming piling? How could I forget you? When after the De La Salle brothers issued a statement expressing our great concern on the conduct of the last national elections, we felt all alone and perhaps much maligned in that conviction. Were we wrong in our judgment? Did anyone really care? Would it have been better if we remained silent? 
But you stood by us. You supported us. You marched with us. And you encouraged us even in the dark nights of our frustrations when we felt defeated. You reminded us that victory will surely come, not in our own time, but in God's time. Now we must take stock. Whom will we march with now that you have gone to meet your God? I certainly wish I had an answer to my grief. Natatangi kong pintakasi sa langit. Idulog po ninyo sa kataas-taasan ang aming mga panalangin. Sa inyong katauhan, nakilala ko ang tunay na diwa ng kabanalan. Isang kaintim na pagnanamnam ng dakilang kabutihan ng Diyos na nagbubunga sa walang pakundangang pagtataya ng sarili. Ipinakita po ninyo ito sa puso at sa diwa, sa salita at sa gawa, sa inyong pagrorosaryo at pakikibaka sa lansangan. You exemplified for me the true meaning of sanctity in the modern world. You showed me the virtue of remaining steadfast in our faith and in the midst of our daily struggles. In your life, and in your sufferings, and now in death, you have taught me that faith must necessarily bear fruit in action. You have taught me that from the cathedral, we must return to the streets. But you have also taught me that all of our struggles can only find meaning if I can learn to kneel down in prayer and patiently wait for God's own time. You have left me with that lasting conviction that whatever we do and whatever we fight for is not our work and that those who dream impossible dreams can find their sure hope in God who is on our side and that no matter how hopeless we should fight for the right yes without question or pause with you I pledge to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. Ipagpapatuloy po namin ang inyong sinimulan at ang inyong pinagmalasakitan. Paalam, minamahal kong ina.